Michelle Sullivan with Global Medical News Network at the International Stroke Conference in Los Angeles. There seems to be no reason to routinely give blood pressure lowering agents to patients with either ischemic or hemorrhagic stroke. A large trial of candesartan found that patients randomized to the drug or to placebo had no significant differences in outcomes at six months after their stroke. Elevated blood pressure is very common in acute stroke and also that it's associated with a poor short-term and long-term outcome after stroke. What we don't know is whether blood pressure should be lowered in the acute phase, the first days, the first week of stroke or not. Patients with acute stroke that is within 30 hours of stroke onset were randomly allocated to candesartan or placebo for one week. The Scandinavian candesartan acute stroke trial included 2,029 patients with acute ischemic or hemorrhagic stroke. They were randomized to one week of either candesartan or placebo and followed for six months. The primary endpoint was a cardiovascular composite that included cardiovascular death, heart attack, and stroke. The secondary endpoint was the six-month functional status as measured by the modified Rankin scale. After six months, there was no significant between-group difference in the primary composite endpoint. So our conclusion is that we, found, we find no indication for routine blood pressure lowering treatment in the acute phase of stroke. We really must be sure that there are no drugs and no subgroups where a benefit can be obtained. Our study provides some pretty reliable data that there are no effects overall, mm -hmm. but there still may be subgroups or different agents that may work differently. Even though the study's results were negative, it still provides some important insight into this patient population, said Dr. Jeffrey Saver, director of the UCLA Stroke Center. Well, this is a very important study on a topic that has bedeviled the treatment of patients and physicians for a long time. Should we lower blood pressure after acute stroke? It looked at a uh, larger group of patients with a pure antihypertensive than has been looked at before and found that it didn't much matter whether we lowered blood pressure or not. Uh, patients did about the same, and that's reassuring to know. It helps to reaffirm the current national guidelines from the American Heart Association and American Stroke Association, which are not to aggressively lower blood pressure in the first uh, 24 hours if the systolic is under 220. This study tells us that as a broad general strategy, uh, blood pressure lowering does not alter outcome in, in a major way.